Hello everyone! Yes, you read the title right. I was fired by my piano teacher in fifth grade. Now you might be thinking, what, is, what does it mean to get fired by your piano teacher? You're the one that hires a piano teacher. How can the piano teacher fire you, right? Well, I started piano in first grade, I think. Uh, my parents signed me up and I liked it. It, it was fun. And I um, still occasionally play it now. But piano is fun. Um, I liked music and I liked playing music. So it was good for me. Um, and so my teacher was actually very, very nice. Um, she, she was sometimes a bit strict, but overall she was really, really nice. And so um, one day, for some reason, I do not remember why. This was in third grade. One day in third grade. I think this was right before New Year's. Sorry for the fire on the screen, by the way. This was right before New Year's. I remember that quite clearly. It was right before New Year's. And um, basically, for some reason, I just started crying in the middle of piano class. I don't know why. I was in third grade at the time. Again, if you watched my previous video, I, I seemed to cry a lot in third grade. Anyways. <laughs> So I just started crying, and I was super upset. I had no idea why I was upset. My mom had no idea why I was upset. But anyways, we switched piano teachers. And I think in fourth grade, I had a piano teacher. But then that piano teacher, like, really sucked. And their house smelled kind of bad. <laughs> and so we, we switched again. Now, this teacher was actually, like, a super good teacher or something. It was, like, well-known teacher. Not super well-known. Just, like, well-known around the area. You know, pretty prestigious teacher and so um their students usually were very good went to a bunch of competitions and won a bunch of awards and stuff and so you can kind of see where how this is where this is going right now as a kid i did not practice that much and i still do not practice um as much as i'm supposed to on my other instruments now but um so i, I didn't practice enough and so after like what a year maybe of this piano um the teacher got quite mad at me he was like oh you're not practicing at all you better start practicing and every lesson became kind of like that just a lecture about me um, practicing more and stuff like that and so one day right i just go there and he just basically snaps. He, he wasn't angry or anything like that. He's just like, oh, um, I'm going to finish off your lessons for the month. But after that, uh, I'm not teaching you anymore because you don't practice at all. And so as a fifth grader at the time, I was old enough to like um, be like, understand what was going on right obviously but I, I i wasn't old enough to be like i don't know okay about it i, I was like quite not traumatized i was just, I, I remember after that lesson just like being very sad and like at that point i, I was just like okay I, i'm not gonna find a new teacher because like that made me it was probably that made me very sad. If that hadn't happened, I think I would have continued piano. But since that happened, um, I kind of just stopped piano. And today, um, as a high school senior, I still occasionally play piano. I enjoy playing the piano. I like search up random songs and like play them. Or, or my brother plays piano, so I sometimes play his pieces. Sometimes practice piano more than he even practices himself. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. No, it's, it's not that bad. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Him firing me? Sure, that, that was definitely the right decision. Because I wasn't practicing at the time. But, um, the problem was it kind of just, like, killed my, um, piano, piano future, you know. Even though my, it was pretty non-existent anyways. <laughs> Nowadays, I do play another instrument. I play the cello. Oh, very, very cool. It's a very nice instrument. I'll probably talk about that in another video, though. Yeah.
So that was why my piano teacher fired me. And hopefully you don't have a teacher that does the same. Because th this teacher was like very, he was a very good teacher. So he always had like more students to teach. And if he wasn't going to have a good student, he was, if he wasn't going to have a good student like me, who was a bad student, you know what I mean? Like I was a bad student. If he wasn't going to have a good student, he was going to fire them or like get rid of them and find a better student because there are always more students um, than, um, yeah. So he could always replace me. I was a very replaceable student. Anyways, hopefully your piano teacher or whatever teacher does not do the same to you because that would be kind of sad because honestly, that is kind of the reason why I quit piano. I mean, at, at the point, I wasn't really practicing anyways, but it was the thing that pushed me over the edge. So yeah. Make sure you guys, if you do have an instrument, go practice it, all right? Playing instruments is fun, I think. And even if you don't enjoy the piece you're playing right now, I'm sure you probably, if um, you've played long enough, you do somewhat enjoy playing your own instrument. So why not go um, play it? I sound like two set violin right now. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I will now go practice. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Oh yeah, also tell me if you guys have seen Two Set Violin in the comments. And that reminds me, also subscribe to this channel, to Shnakaru. Join my Discord, all in the description and comments. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!